And that, folks, is how you can solve all the problems about scheduling, video conferencing, and taking payments. And does this solution work? Well, watch and see. Hey there, I'm Richard Butler, and I'm here to tell you that there is a better solution to running your online coaching or consulting or teaching business and being able to forget about the technology and just have something that works. Now let's get to the bottom line. Does Worky work? Well, the answer is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to use Worky.net to manage your whole business, take all your payments and more. Are you ready? Let's go over to the computer. So here I am in the Worky dashboard. And as you can see, I have done some of this setup process already, but let's go through this and see how easy it is. Now, the first thing that you will need or the only extra thing that you will need is a Stripe account. And it's super simple to connect your Stripe account to Worky. And that's where your payments are going to go to. And once you have set up your Stripe account, you can start to charge for your actual sessions. It actually tells you what you need to do at each stage, okay? Create your first meeting. And it gives you the exact steps that you need in order to create your first meeting. Add information about your website. So let's have a look at the landing page here. If I click on landing page, I go in here and I can actually see my landing page. And I can put in my picture here. I can ask a question if I have a question that I want to ask the coach. And I can say book a meeting. Now, this shows you all of the available times. I click on it, I click on book, and I put in all of the details here. Now, everything is connected back to your Google Calendar. So that means there's none of this problem of double booking a client. If I go into the booking page, I can set up my working days that I want to work and my actual available times here. So this allows you to control exactly when you want to work and it will also look to see when your Google Calendar is free to make sure that there's no double booking in case you have other appointments. If I go to booking form, I can do some extra edits here. For example, I can say the duration of the time slots are 45 or 60 minutes. I can say the pay time slots are 60 minutes and I can actually say how much I'm going to charge for those time slots. Now I can select to use Google Meet if I want, or I can use their own inbuilt video conferencing system. Now, this is a little bit better than IntroWise, which I reviewed here, because here you get unlimited video calls. In IntroWise, you do actually have a limit on the amount of calls that you can make per month, depending on your plan. So that's the first ding ding for Worky. I can add my competencies here and funnel growth, add new item, website overview, and I can continue adding those competencies so that when somebody goes to a booking page, they book in for exactly what they want to see. Under payments, I have my Stripe connected here. If I go into finance, it will tell me any of the meetings that I've actually had that have been paid. Now, here is one thing that I love. If I go to manual invoicing, I can actually add a manual invoice here and I can send the invoice to my particular client. This of course is very, very handy when you're a sole trader, when you're a freelancer, that you can keep a record of all of the money that you build so that you can declare your taxes correctly and discount any fees that you may be charged by Stripe. Now that's an interesting question that you may be thinking how much do Stripe charge you? So Stripe charge you a small percentage of the actual amount. Another plus ding ding for Worky is that on their plans, they do not take a commission. Intro wise, unless you're on their top tier plan, does actually take a commission. The commission, even what intro wise takes, is still quite low compared to other platforms that I've worked on, but Worky doesn't take any commission. So that's another ding 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 for Worky. That's two dings it's got already. If I go into contacts, I can see any contacts that have set up sessions with me. I can see that they've had one session and I can click here and I can get an overview of that particular contact. That is another thing that I really like. You can also see the completed sessions, the due dates, the canceled. You can see all of the sessions that you've had with them. You can see contact information 
um, any notes that you may have actually uh, written. If I open this up, this would show the notes and I'll show you how those work in just one second. If I go back to meetings, I could actually schedule a meeting with somebody. I enter in an email address, I put in the date and I add the description. This is the third ding, ding, ding for Worky. Um, this is something that is not in IntroWise yet, but it is something that I think is really handy that you can schedule the meeting for somebody. Now let's see what the actual meetings look like when I go in. So I can start a meeting at any time. I'm going to start meeting and it loads up this interface for me here. So I allow my microphone. So I put in my name here. This is coming off my uh, internal webcam so the quality is slightly different. I click on join meeting and I am here. I can see information about performance settings. I can change the camera if I want. So here I see all the different cameras I have. I can change the audio settings. I can open up the chat. I can create a poll. Ding, ding, ding. It's another ding, ding for Worky. I can raise or lower my hand like I would do in uh, Zoom. I can see the participants. I can see them here. I can toggle the tile view here. And under more options, I can invite people. I can set security here. Okay, I could set up a passcode if I wanted, which is again, another handy one, another ding, ding, ding. I can share a video if I wish. So here I could put in a video URL and share that in the actual chat there. And then I have various other settings here. If I put in anything here, this will become the meeting notes. When I'm finished, I simply hang up to leave the meeting. Now, if this had been a scheduled meeting, I would see the scheduled meeting here and I would see all of the notes, etc., that I have actually created. That is the overview of how easy Worky is to actually operate. It seems to be pretty good. Is there anything that I've left out? Well, the price. You get all of these different components. That means you just need one piece of software and it works out at $114 per year. And you are getting so much. So obviously, Worky is really good, but there must be some negatives. Right now, there is no recording facility, so you cannot record sessions. And for me, recording sessions is essential because it's something that I give as a value add to my clients. I say, I record the session and you can review it. The second thing is that with IntroWise, and you can see my full review here, you are able to do group sessions. And then you can decide how many seats are available for that particular session. And as people book, well then it decreases the amount of availability for that particular session. So that's a definite plus. So there's recording and there is the group sessions. The third thing that I really like about IntroWise is that it allows you to do packages and the client can manage those packages and book everything themselves. So that means that I can say, I have a coaching package, it's $500 for three sessions, and they can book that, and then they can manage and book in the sessions themselves. Now, it depends what your needs are, but definitely either one of these solutions is going to save you on your scheduling system. And if you don't have one, you're probably losing clients because you don't know when things are scheduled it's going to save you money on video conferencing software. And it's also going to help you manage your actual finances because you don't have to say, well, send me a PayPal and then check if they've sent the PayPal and then send them a link to actually uh, book the class, etc. Everything is done on both of these systems. Which one you decide to use is up to you. I think for possibly a large majority of people, Worky is going to be perfect. For others, it's going to be IntroWise. I personally will be using both of them to fully test them to see which one is working best for me. And I'll do a longer term review in a couple of months. Now, if you have any questions, do let me know. If you have any thoughts, if you have anything that you want to know, let me know below. And here's the good news. I've actually worked out a little deal with Worky to get you an even better price. You can see all the details on the screen. Any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share it with everybody you know who needs help with managing their business online. I'll talk to you in the next video.